All right, so going over for response problem five from the 2017 exam, we have an automobile manufacturer sold 30,000 new cars, one to each of 30,000 customers in a, in a, in a certain year. Um, they were interested in investigating the proportion of the new cars that experienced mechanical problems in the first 5,000 miles trip. In, in part A, we have to basically Describe a sampling plan that can be used to obtain a simple random sample of 1,000 customers from this list that gives you all the names and addresses of the customers that um, bought the new car. So like sampling plan. Um, so now it says simple random sample. And that essentially just means that you want to basically give each customer an equal chance of being chosen. And that's really... a just the, the most basic one, probably the most um, um, simplest idea you could think of, like when you um, assign each person a, a number. So um, that's what I put down. So number the customers from one to 30,000. And then what you're gonna do is, you know, pick a thousand of those numbers randomly somehow. Um, in your calculator, you um, you don't have to actually do it in the problem. You just have to make sure you mention it. But if, if you've, your teacher has shown you like that there's a random, there's actually a random number generator you can pick that will randomly pick. Oops. I'll randomly pick numbers um, from a set of numbers. Like I get to say one to a thousand. Let's enter and it's going to pick numbers like that. Now the key thing you want to make sure you um, address is that you have to ignore repeats. Like a repeat is, pick, if you have the same number appeared twice or more than once, it's like picking the same customer again. And you can't do that. So then that's not, that's not going to count. You have to keep on moving on until you get a thousand different ones. So, or unique, we say. Then those 1,000 unique numbers are going to be matched up with the customers. And then those customers are going to be the ones that you're going to use for the sample. So three key points here. Make sure you mention that you're not gonna use replacements and you're ignore repeats and that these numbers are gonna go to the customers, not the cards. All right, part B, we've got fault. Each customer from a simple random sample of a thousand customers bought one of the new cards to ask whether they experienced any mechanical problems for the first 5,000 miles for the so um, 40 of those customers from the sample reported a problem. Of the 40 who reported a problem, 13 of those customers, so 13 of 40, or 32 and a half percent, reported a problem specifically with the power door locks. So explain why 0.325 should not be used to eliminate, or should not be used to estimate the population proportion of 30,000 new cars sold that experienced a problem with power locks in the first 5,000 miles. So he wants to make sure that you understand that, that that 13 out of 40 or that 32 and a half percent is not um, the right like estimate for what percent of all the cars or all the customers are gonna have problems with their door locks. Because um, you first have a sample of 1,000 out of the 30,000. And then from those thousand, you have 40. So only 40 out of a thousand had any problem. So you have, to, you have a condition. You have a condition um, that they already had a problem. And so it's so at when they already had a problem or given that they had a problem, they had a 32.5% chance of having something, with, of having a problem with the door locks. So this is a, basically a conditional probability. So you want to basically explain or show that you understand that. Because of course, like if you if you say you have a problem, <clears throat> problem something wrong with your car, you're more likely that you're gonna that you're gonna have a problem with the door locks because um uh that that's a possible problem. Um again I just maybe just use the word given um show that you understand that this is like um that these are these are not um just uh, these are not just regular customers something was already they had a condition 
Um, the last part. Hmm. Based on the results of the sample, give a point estimate of the number of new cars sold that experience a problem with the door locks within the first five thousand dollars trip. So again, um, remember that we took a sample, a sample of a thousand, and that sample of a thousand, we found forty of them that had a problem, but essentially there were only thirteen total. Out of the thousand, 13 total all the thousand that had a problem with the door lock. So just think of it like that. Out of those thousand, how many had a problem with the door lock? And that's going to be 1.3%. So then your point estimate of the total population, you would say that about 1.3% of all the um, customers would have a problem with the door. We, well, we would estimate it, that they would have a problem with the door locks. And then you would get um, about 390, a little less than 400. So this one isn't too bad. Um, I put check marks to try to um, highlight like, the key points they want in this problem. But I'm letting me know like, if you have any questions on it, because um, sometimes when the problem seems too easy, like we uh, underestimate it. Um, oh, not, not, no pun intended. All right. All right, I hope that helps. Um, leave any questions in the comments section. And of course, give me a like if this helps. And I'll see you guys in the next video.